Hey y'all, my name is Tyson. Today we're going to talk about using uh, InnerAuth's laser tools to help lay out uh, a, a different model entirely. So this is a follow-up. Uh, I did a previous video about Christina InnerAuth's laser tools and talking about how it can give thickness to uh, flat faces and how it will create automatic finger or box joints. Very interesting stuff. We're gonna kind of take a different spin on it this time and use the layout um, or flattening function of it on a model, this model that we have behind me. So let's jump in. Now, um, again, the idea of this is to say, okay, we've modeled this in this case, you know, it's kind of this small uh, clock. And I want to uh, just throw some quick, uh, break the parts out. Now, when I modeled this, I was not very careful. So if I look at this, um, this is a component, a nested component, which many of you probably use, it makes sense. Um, inside here, I also have other components. So this leg is a component or the down here. So that's all well and good. But to use this tool where we're going to lay out the pieces, we need to uh, understand a few things. If I select this as is and just hit, you know what, see what we get. And it's giving us a warning that we've got pieces all over with different axes and stuff. Uh, two inch spacing should be fine. Okay, what do we have here? It's treating everything as a, you know the top level group or component. So in this case, that whole assembly, um, it treated as a single piece. This top uh, that's couple different pieces it treated as a single one. So let me undo. And let's just real quick to see what we get. I'm going to explode this side assembly. I'm going to explode this side assembly and I'm going to explode this top assembly. Those were our main ones. And let's run this again. Again, let's just see what we get. All right. This time we, we certainly have uh, more of the pieces. However, some of them are laying flat, some of them are standing up. Uh, now, obviously, we could pretty quickly uh, adjust some of these. So this might be just, it, it broke it apart into the pieces and, and maybe that that is the, the head start we need. But let's do a little more just so we understand what is possible. What we've seen, if I look at this and I go into some of these components, this blue axis is, is sort of important to keep in mind. So this one is facing out away from this panel. Whereas if I look at this leg, the blue axis is up vertical um, along the length of the leg. And if I look at this piece, we have a similar one. Also, because of the quick and sort of messy way I was modeling this, some pieces our copy geometry, you know, an axis way down here. So my axes are a little bit all over the place. They're not very neat. One of the tools that Christina built into here is kind of interesting. We can adjust the axes on the fly of various pieces. So as I hover around here, notice that it's giving me a couple grips on the center, on the corners, and so maybe on this one, I will come down here and say, you know what, let's just, I'm going to click to accept this corner. Now read this carefully because it's actually saying, do you want to make this leg in our case unique before changing it? I, I don't. So I'm going to say no each time I change this because I want to maintain the axes, the new axis for each of the other components. I want to maintain my component uh, the way these are, are built. Maybe for this one, 
I'll just throw the axis right here on the middle just so it's a little more centered. Again, I'm gonna say no. Same thing up here, but that was a component, so that's okay. Um, what do we have here? That might work, but maybe I would wanna put it on this corner. Let's test what we've got again. So I'm gonna select it and we could easily make a copy of this and run this on our, our copy. Um, but okay, our legs are lying flat. Other pieces are doing pretty well. I can see that this panel, this panel in the front and this, um, this piece here still needs some work. So I'm gonna undo. Now, of course, we could change the axes manually. I can right click, I can place this. And in this case, I want uh, maybe the axes to do something more like this. Now, well, that's kind of uh, what we just created. I want the blue axis to come out away from the face. So maybe, let me uh, try that again, place this axis. Now, I keep not getting it right. So I'm not gonna accept that and I'm just gonna go back to Christina's version and give me a quick version that will work. And for this panel, maybe I'll turn X-ray mode on if I need to, but that should work. And I think back here, this panel, oh, that one looked okay. How about this top panel? I want to be careful, a little bit careful, but I think that one will be fine. Now, I think these, these small pieces also could use it, but let's just, again, see what we got. Yeah, those small pieces in this panel we could adjust, but this is plenty close enough. And what's kind of interesting about this is the way this is laid out, you might be like, oh, no, I, I, I have to reconfigure all this but I find it kind of useful because of the way that these legs, for example, are oriented. I can quickly identify these are the legs. So I can put those together and I can quickly identify that these pieces all go together, that this one and this one. So I can quickly see which of these panels and which of these uh, legs and, and parts need to um, you know be similar this again maybe maybe this uh, is not something that you'll find useful but if you're you know just need to do a quick break break something apart and uh, even if it doesn't do it perfectly it does a good enough that I can quickly come in myself and adjust a few things, make or undo and adjust it. It just, it's an option that's kind of interesting. So the ability to quickly change the axes and to quickly lay everything out flat based on the axes that we've, we've chosen, I think that's pretty interesting. I think that's kind of a cool uh, side functionality towards this particular extension. So I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Um, again, it's not a perfect thing and there are other tools that, that will do something similar to this. Uh, some of them more robust that you, they're just set up differently. So different ways to do it, whether or not this one's useful to you, I, I'd, I'd be curious to, to hear your thoughts on it or how you might use it. Maybe you wouldn't. It's just something I think it's kind of interesting to explore. Uh, so let us know what you think. Let us know if you have questions. Hope that uh, you all are doing well. Otherwise, we will see you next time. As always, remember to like and subscribe. Cheers.